All right, folks, Hunter Bob here. <laughs> So Ben, what have we witnessed today? Taco Bell. All right, guys, got a test run video today, running on nothing but shelled corn. It's a wood gasifier running on this right here. Shelled corn. I've been drying out in the sun all day. Um, but if you don't care, I'm gonna do a little bit of explanation. So if you don't care about that, you can skip to this time right here to see the um, gas burn off or attempted gas burn off anyway. So uh, with that said, I've uh, sealed the door up um, completely. It's not even a door anymore because of the explosion yesterday. Um, that's gonna be temporary. I'll find a new way to make a door more sealed. I've also put the sand on the top just in case there's any air getting to the top. I don't think there is, but just in case. Um, and uh, what else? Well, now and now when I do the blower test, blower inspection, the all the gas coming out of the blower is coming in through right here. Uh, it is very, very, very minimal when that thing is closed all the way. Very minimal gas coming out or air coming out of the blower, and I think it's from the cracks around the edge of the blower that aren't sealed, because as you can see, it's just sealed up with tape and basically wood tar. Um, so all that said. I'm going to be lighting it off with some pieces of paper towel that I have down in here. See how quickly it lights. Hopefully pretty quick. Hopefully I don't get another explosion today. So I'll cut to you um, once I have the gasifier lit and the lid closed. And I'll be closing that lid pretty early today to hopefully prevent another explosion. You might not be able to see the flame that well today because um, I'm not doing it at sundown. But this is mostly going to be a proof of concept. If I get a flame, then I get a flame and that means that it's working. So, if I can burn some wood in front of the flame anyway, that's how I'm going to prove that there's a flame going. Um, yeah. So with that said, stick around for the test run, and thanks for watching. Alright guys, so it's uh, completely lit right now on nothing but corn. I haven't added any more into the hopper. I just lit it up, and I have my safety glasses on uh, because I'm not stupid. And I'm going to see down inside there right now. Hopefully I don't get an explosion from the air coming into the top. I'm gonna add some corn in and get back to you. All right, guys, the gasifier is running on pure corn. I'm not getting very good airflow through my air through my air intake up there, but the gas does burn. I don't know if you can see that or not, but the gas is burning a little bit. but the smoke goes away when I hold the torch to it. I guess I'll give it a minute and try to light it up again. Alright guys, I ended the test run about five minutes ago. Um, it was producing burnable syngas uh, from the blower. It didn't stay lit, but it was producing burnable syngas. But the big problem was, uh, the problem I kind of suspected would happen, um, the corn is very small particles in the first place, and then when you heat it up, it kind of draws all that sugar out of the corn and kind of bricks up. So right now I have probably a corn brick in the bottom of my combustion area and my reduction zone, and uh, it probably kind of bricked all the way up past my um, air intake nozzle where that in air intake sticks down, because when I closed my lid all the way and had my blower turned up all the way, there was no air getting sucked out of here. My blower was not producing, not blowing any gas out. So I know it probably uh, the corn kind of made a big blockage in there from the heat, um, kind of I guess melting the sugar out. So uh, I'm not going to say you can't run a gasifier on corn. You might be able to on yours, but I know mine won't due to the I guess we'll call it bricking issue. Um, so with that said, I guess you're free to try running your gasifier on whatever you want, but I wouldn't suggest corn as being your first test. Um, it ran really well on sticks from the stream. It ran really well on wood pellets, and I guess I'm going to stick to those. Um, 
maybe try a few more things in some later videos. But uh, with that said, I'm going to fix my door down there, make a better one, and get back to you uh, for another test run later. So thanks for watching.